Hey, what's up everyone? Keith, two guys, how to. Thanks for tuning in and uh, checking the channel out. Uh, June's back at the shop over there and uh, he's getting a, a breaker bar to take off these, these pizza cutter rims in here. We picked up this Baja bug basically just because it's cool and we didn't want to leave it stranded uh, anywhere. Long story short, when I got there to pick it up in the rain, there was no tires on it. These drums were down in the ground, not buried in the ground, but uh, they're just seized up. So I jacked the car up and I did get manage to get a second uh, set of these pizza cutters we had from this old 31 Dodge and uh, put them on there just so I could drag the thing out with the backhoe and get it out up onto the trailer. It doesn't look like a nightmare now, but if we end up restoring this thing, the name for this car is uh, called Nightmare because uh, it was a nightmare to get this thing on the trailer. Without these turning, me and my girl were out there and uh, I was coming along in this thing up on the trailer. I had to pull it up backwards because these were skidding in the mud and everywhere and they weren't sticking on. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to show you how to unseize these brakes. These brake drums are so bad. This car is in neutral right now and it will not move. So June's going to break these nuts for you. What we're going to do is you loosen them up a little bit now while the vehicles, the tires are touching the pavement. Um, you don't have to on this particular one because it's, they're seized up, but the right way to do it is to break those free. And he's gonna go around to the other side here and he's gonna break those nuts free as well. And you always wanna break them free first before we take those tires off. So we're gonna go ahead and jack this thing up. And we could wheel shock it. But the tires are flat in the back, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, if we really wanted up on this jack sand, we can, we can do that for safety, I guess. Because we're going to have to beat these things and take the spindles off. Sometimes we have to heat them with a torch. Hopefully we don't have to on this one, but it doesn't look very good, but we're going to get away with it. Of course, we got the biggest ones today because we're using the other ones everywhere else. We want to make sure to put these jack stands so they don't break off these uh, dirt fittings for lubricating your axle there. Set it down there. Actually, I'll have this one back a little bit more. leave the jack under it just for safety but he's got those rims off of there I'm gonna have to pop these caps off and that spindle nuts back there once we take that pin out and back that nut off technically in theory these drums should come off of here and you can see they're just seized on there so which side do you want to work on first yeah Go ahead and pop these bearing caps off over here. And the drums really don't look bad for sitting outside for 11 years and having this part down in like the sandy mud. Uh, it's expected these are gonna be like this. Uh, the car, they've just let it sit. I mean, it's, uh, even towing it home, I lost one of the fiberglass fenders that I really wanted to use on something else. these holes here. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to adjust them back. So he's going to take this bearing cap off there and I think we're going to have to just work these things. What do you got? Uh, everything we don't have over here to do it right now. So let's go get some Allen keys and get these things off of here. All right, and while June's over there, he's going to get some Allen keys at the shop. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of agitate this drum a little bit. Just to see what comes out of the dock. It's lightly. Maybe we can get these brakes completely freed up just by agitating a little bit. This one seems like it might have a little vibration. Just 
just see all the, the sand and the stuff that's coming from it. This particular one's got wheel spacer, so if yours is an original stock Volkswagen, it's most likely not going to have this wheel spacer here. Somebody put these on, bring that stance out of that vehicle a little bit further. So we're going to match up the Allen key to get this nut off the outside here, this clamp that cranks it down. Number six. Number six Allen, so six millimeter. And just let him keep taking that off and let's see if we can bang on this brake drum enough to get it to pull off. I'm hoping so, but uh, it's not looking good. He's just back spinning that, that nut right off of there. Let me get you guys down in there. He's just backing that nut. So he loosened, did you take the Allen key all the, or the Allen set screw yeah. all the way out? I did, you don't have to. Okay, you don't have to take it all the way out, but uh, it's my just first loosen time. that up and uh, it's back in that nut. It's a weird looking nut. It's almost like a nut clamp. If, if the clamp fails, mm -hmm. uh, you can use a wrench on it, which is kind of cool. And you just want to make sure you, you take pictures of stuff and set stuff down where you you're not going to lose it. And you got your washer there. You just got a pair of needle nose pliers. Just trying to grab it. You need a screwdriver. Try to grease. Get that inside there. That's going to be your bearing sitting right back up in there, your outer bearing. And I saw it move, that it's got good grease up in there. It's just, uh, you see he took out, just slid the bearing out gently. And he's putting all the bearings right down in that, that center cap, uh, the cover cap, the grease cap that was on the outside that we took off first to expose all of this. Keep the dirt off of it. So. What it is, the brakes, the brakes are just. The brakes are stuck on, so. There's normally you could go in the back side and you could adjust these down and kind of mess with it. But I think you're just going to get all the trusty sledgehammer gently, go around it, and maybe spray some TV glass wheel in there. Let me get you guys set up here. You're gonna have to be patient. You're gonna have to just keep going around it and around it and around it and around it. And you can see the brake drum's actually starting to come off. This is I put the camera down from a far view for you guys. June's already gotten it going. And you can see that cylinder right there. The drum's starting to come right off there. He's got a little breaker bar in there. He's using you want me to pry on something while you bang it a little bit? That's what you do, you pry it out a little. Tap it. Pry the bottom. He's just going around and around. He's going to go down to that bottom part. Use this first. Try to get it in there, yeah. You just want to be gentle. He's basically frying it, and then banging on that drum. The dirt's dropping out, and the drum's just coming open further and further. So it might take our brake pads with us. But that's fine. We don't care if it yanks the brake pads completely off of there, or the shoes off of there, excuse me, because uh, we want this to roll. So we're going to put it back together with no brake shoes. That way we can roll it around, and we won't have a problem with it. hand up again until we decide to parts off of here. Let me get up in 
here on this side so I can keep some pressure on it. Actually, for 11 years sitting on the ground, I'm uh, I'm I'm impressed though. You can see the brake shoe still it's stuck <laughs> into the in, into the pad, and that's right where it was sitting down on the ground. Part of it, so, so it's sorry. understandable. You can see all the dirt and mud. This part of the car had dirt when I picked it up down there in Virginia. Uh, there was mud up to about that area, so uh, it's understandable and I'm actually impressed with how it's lasted Because we did a 54 Chevy truck and we had to heat them with torches to get those things to come undone So June's just gonna dismantle those brake shoes. So if you're got a seized up, you know Volkswagen bug or any kind of brake drum that's seized You're just gonna have to dismantle it take everything off clean it up order yourself a new set of pads uh, most likely these wheel cylinders in here are bad um, and you just got to go through it but it, but first first come first you got to get the, the drum off of there to actually expose what's inside there and he's taking off that little it's like a little push clip there on a spring it should push and just twist and that part's been in the mud for 11 years the guy said so it might not even come off but we can always get new hardware later. The main thing is get those shoes off of there so we can get tires on here and roll the, roll the Volkswagen around. We don't need the brakes right now. So we got the head off of that clip. That, that brake pad will come off of there brake shoe. I don't know why I keep calling it a pad. It's a brake shoe. And uh, boom. So we could probably leave this one on. Let's cruise to take this out of here. Yeah, it's just nasty. You can just see where all, all the dirt and the mud was. And just bound that brake, brake shoe onto that, that drum. Just leave it on. Will it come off of there at all? It might not come off. I don't want to use it. We're on a screwdriver. It's fine now because it's not going to get in the way enough. There's nothing for that old brake machine to hit. We're going to put the brake drum back on. This will at least allow us to get it around and move it into the shop. And uh, go ahead and put those bearings back in the same exact way we took them off. But I am impressed on, on how easy they came off considering I think the other side's worse. When I was banging on it with the sledgehammer earlier, I didn't feel too much vibration. Good vibrations. Yeah, you got the washer, yep, everything's on there. So we're gonna put this wheel bearing back in. We'll actually be able to, to move this thing off the trailer, pump the rear tires up and roll the chassis around and we're not sure what we're going to do with it but we have to be able to move it because it took me three hours the other night it would have been less time if i would have jacked this up there at the guy's house and done this i could have got it up on the trailer in no time it did, literally took me three hours in the pouring down rain to get this thing up on there so let's get set up june's going to put that back together the same way we took it off He's got the nut. You got the nut, what, just finger tight? That way it'll roll good. Uh, we can adjust it later, but you don't want it over tight. You just want it in there. And then that set screw from that Allen key is gonna tighten it in there. And there we go, now we're rolling. So we can put those pizza cutter rims back on, the race rims. And let's go back over and do the same thing to this side. Back. You got that 
Allen Key. Was a six millimeter, six millimeter Allen key. It's a little tricky. It's not really trying to go into this. Might be a different size in this one. It doesn't seem like it wants to go. I'm going to try to clean it out. I have a bunch of green here. It seems pretty clean. Let's go ahead and just go down the sides. It's probably about 20 degrees out here right now. Believe it or not, let's see. This side should take the same size. It should be the same size as what we had over there, but for some reason it's not. Somebody might have swapped them out from a different year. But this is breaking free. This is a five here, so let's just get it, let's just get it off and worry about it later. Get this thing rollable. You can see the gear roll on this side. Maybe it's cold outside. Yeah, it is cold. I'm just going to use the seat pump or sea wrench here. See if I can get that thing going. Little by little, I'm just move it to where I can get to it a lot better here. might be a little bit more toasty, toasty roached on here. It seemed like it's, uh, it's definitely not coming off easily. This one is in the opposite direction from the other side. So get that off of there. So on the passenger side of the Volkswagen, it's going right, right to Lucy. Maybe that's why this one's a different size uh, head on this. So it can't go on that one because the threads are different. So they, they make sure you can't use the same wrench. And that, that Volkswagen, they're, they're good like that. They're, uh, they're just good. <laughs> they do quirky stuff like that, which makes it easier for you not to mess up. Once again, let's just take that bearing out of there. I was looking for a rag. I don't even think we have one over here. Take that bearing on out of there. And we're gonna do the same thing to this side, basically. Keep all the bearings and stuff away where the dirt's going to fall.
this time. in again and then try to come back out again. It's just hard for me to get any leverage here. Get the bottom out at all. Can you see it?
is stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. It's almost off. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can just peel this whole brake shoe off from the back of the plate area. Just right now, I don't even care. Yeah, you can see it there. So we got the top brake shoe is breaking free, and I'm just gonna go around the outside gently. You don't want to break, you don't want to bend the uh, brake backing plate. Oh, that's the ball game, and you can just see once again the brake shoe is stuck inside the drum down here because it's sat in dirt and mud. We're not gonna worry about that right now. It's got a little bit of hardware in there that holds the, the shoes in place. But uh, like I said, your brake calipers are gonna be roasted too, so. Uh, I'm, I am impressed on how clean everything looks considering it sat outside for 11 years, but we, uh, we got it now. We're going to do this out. And it's not going to affect anything leaving this drum. This great, great shoe in here. Because we don't have any uh, hardware. We just need to move this thing around. I got it out of there. I mean, if by the time you turn these drums to make them right again, even though these are probably really good old VW drums, uh, just buy a new set. Let's put this back on the same way. Bearings back up in there. Should roll. <laughs> oh boy. piece of pad we left it on that side doesn't kind of suck. Oh man, you can hear it in there clanging around. This thing, we didn't even have to use any PB blaster. I'm, I'm impressed actually. On the driver's side, the speedo cable actually comes up through this dang cap. Uh, it's, it's weird, man. Volkswagen, that's, I think that's why we're slowly falling in love with them. Uh, just because it goes into this little square hole here. And believe it or not, when it turn, that cable gets turned in here, it's raising your speedometer up. It knows how fast your front tire. Now, if you did wheelies all day, it wouldn't show you were doing any miles per hour. So, you know, tighten this back up, and uh, I'll be able to push that Speedo cable back up through that uh, dust cap that goes over your grease seal. I think it'll go. It's just got some of the crap in there. There, the way it should go, and that should get it in there. 
pull the speedo back a little bit. out of here. That's how you get the brakes on three, man. You just got to beat them up a little bit. And uh, we're out of here, man. It's almost five and it's like 20 degrees outside. We're still producing videos and still out here moving these V-dubs around and uh, working on some other ones that are over at the shop today. But uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully this video helps you. And uh, if those brakes are free, seized up like that, just do what we did. Jack it up, make sure you chalk the tires, jack it up, jack stands. You're gonna need that sledgehammer. You're gonna need a couple pry bars. Uh, be gentle with it, it'll come off. Once you get it out a little bit, you might have to bang it back in and just keep getting it further and further out. Once you do that, you break free. So if you're not ready to rebuild them now, just take those dang brake shoes out of there um, and, and the hubs will, will spin freely. So when you're ready to rebuild these, at least you can get all the hardware, you can order all your parts off of eBay or Amazon or a local advanced auto whatever you're doing whatever stores near you you get all your parts together and then you can roll this thing around where you want to work on it but until then you can't even move this vehicle around you're gonna to have to have you and your buddies you're gonna drag it with a truck you're gonna use a tow truck or whatever it is and you're just beating it down and, and just free them up roll that chassis around free the brakes up subscribe to our channel tune in next time like love share make comments and uh, I'm Keith, June's over there getting ready to put everything away for the day, and I'm out of here. Later. I'm not a big, I'm a lawyer. <laughs>